Hello everybody, Hellstain here. I know it's been a while since I did a video, but I got this in on Wednesday, and I felt like, you know, doing an unboxing before I put it and display it. So we're just going to go ahead and show you the front and all that stuff, and then take everything out of the box. Uh, I know it's been a while, and I still haven't done that other review. Uh, I've been focusing more on my game channel. Um, so I'm like... 10 videos, 10 or 9 videos on that one. Uh, two subscribers with just, just my uh, other channel and then uh, someone in my family subscribed to me too, so I only have two subscribers. So if you would, you know, if you like the video, go to that other channel and watch me play some games, I guess. Uh, I don't have many different games. It's uh, like GTA 4 and um, One Uncharted. Nope. A little bit of uh, Destiny 2. I think that's it, and uh, Gundam vs. Uh, trial version. But we'll go ahead and pretty much just look at this and unbox it. Now this is the Fallout 4 Game of the Year um, edition with the Pip-Boy. Well, let me do that again. Fallout 4 Game of the Year edition, Pip-Boy edition. I got lucky when I uh, got this um, box right here. When I got this pre-ordered. Because I went into GameStop to pre-order Gundam Versus, and they ended up having this thing. Um, I also plan on doing a uh, video on Gundam Versus later. But, you know, anyway, that's here and there type situation. So, but anyway, let's go ahead and go ahead and look at this thing. Uh, this is the front view of the box. The right view. The back view, as you see, you get the pit boy. You get the little book, and then you get the little um, poster thing. That does not come with the, uh, the game itself. It's a strategy guide. I normally don't get their, get them because they're pointless most times. This one might not be pointless if it shows you where stuff is. It might not be pointless like uh, GTA 5 was. It shows you also all of the DLC. tells you all that stuff. It always tells you it's pro It'll work on the PS4 Pro. Same thing with Gun Versus. It'll actually work on the PS4 Pro too. I don't know if it'll make it look any better, but uh, you know, it's supposed to work on there. And then we're to the left side, which is just basically the same as the right. We went ahead and flipped this down. And as you can see, this is the top. And here is the bottom. So we'll go ahead and uh, pop this open. With my handy dandy new noodle knife. You see, it's a nice little bitty knife. I got it at a hobby store, USA Hobby, uh, Hobby Town, USA. I was gonna get some other things, but I decided against it. Cause I kind of spent so much money at this time and other. And if you can see, this is well, you can't see, you can't, you can't see the camera, but uh, you may be able to tell by the picture quality. This is a new camera. The other camera I only did in 720, so it does in 1080. And I plan on uploading it in 1080. I was thinking maybe 720 would take at least, you know, less time, but it takes about the same amount of time as uh, 1080. If I do it in the lowest, hopefully in the lowest settings of 1080, it'll upload pretty quick. We'll go ahead and go back in through all this again. This is the front of the box. This time, this is the left side of the box. The back side, as you can see, it doesn't have the stuff that the front had. I mean, that the other back had. And then this is your right side. And top and bottom's all the same because, you know, it's what it is. It's just, just a sleeve that was on it. So, I'm going to have to get this knife. And kind of just open it. Jesus. I had this for a couple of days. Today is Friday as I'm recording this. Goodness gracious, I don't want to tear the box up. I want to keep the box. Goodness. Let me stand up out of my chair. There we go. Get a better understanding, a better grab, basically. This is focus as you can see. Game of the year, you get this um 19th Animal Award, Game of the Year, Games Best Game, E3, Game Critics Award Best in the Show. 
uh, Fallout 4 core game, and then all the DLC. Look on the back, same thing as the that was on the back of the box. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is the, was on the back end of the original game, and you get all your nice little DLC. I will open that up in a minute. And this thing right here, that little booklet they showed you on the back. Uh, I'm not really going to go too far into this. Shows you how, it gives you directions on how to do the pit boy. I guess put your stuff on it. Nope. Pretty much just show you how to put it on. And I guess that like it's real. Uh, which is pretty much just acting like it's a real thing. I'm not really going to go too far into that. You can probably find the book online. Uh, pictures of it anyway. Wait that out. Now, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be all back on the game. It's probably gonna, I'm probably going to end up getting a... Uh, a... Look like a little pamphlet or something in the game case and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and take this box out of view. And so there's the pit boy. It seems like to me, I don't think... With the original game... The you know, collector's edition. I don't think this little cutout came with it, which kind of looks like it's crooked. I don't know if it's meant to be like that or not. You get the nice little knobs. Oh, look, it makes that thing move. That's neat. Uh, this thing probably don't do nothing. You need to do all this stuff. I feel like the thing about to break. Every time you twist it, as you can see, it feel you have to kind of kind of have to pull this out a little bit just to get the thing to turn right. And you feel like you have to pull the thing apart and break it. This moves. That probably just sends something to your phone. Probably presses the button. You got this thing. Probably don't do nothing. And you get this thing pinned on. I think it's the battery. Just, let's see if we can get this thing. It's probably just like, yeah. But as I figured, it's probably, it's like a um, suitcase, the way you would get it open, it looks like. I have no idea what this is. Let's open it up. See, it may just be some foam for nothing. Uh, oh, I see. It's just showing you your phone. You a iPhone, B Galaxy. Oh, I see. So this is for uh, different thickness for different phones. And it's E. I got a small, I got a little dainty wrist, so I can probably just... Hmm. Oh, there it goes. Jeez. Let's see. Wrong arm. I don't know that, like that. I mean, yeah, to get a little tighter fit, you could... To get a little bit more of a tighter fit, you could probably um, use a little strap in there. But if your arm is big enough, you could probably just skip this. So it's kind of seems like it's cheaply made, because you can see this is falling out. But I'm not going to ever worry; it's just going to be staying in my display case. Now I'm not going to uh, put my phone in or anything like that. I don't. It's just going to be display piece. It's got this nice little picture in. I might have to see if I can straighten it up if it's possible. And I'm just going to keep it like this. Keep that back. And then your little stand to hold it on. Well, I can't get the video to focus, so. But I'm going to tell you, it says, uh, Pit Boy Model 3000 Mark 5, uh, 4. Manufactured by Robo. Robo. Rapuku? What, how, I can't remember the name of the thing. I'm probably spelt, saying that wrong. For distribution by vault Tech, Not for civilian use. Anyway. But like I said though. You know this stuff's kind of like not there. So I would kind of recommend probably like getting that and gluing that. And you got these nice little pegs here to put the... There we go. Just 
It'd be nice if this is one of the autofocus cameras. I don't think it is. Uh, I wanted to get the Canon, uh, that, no, the Canon, yeah, Canon Rebel, the one with the microphone jacks and all that kind of stuff. But I didn't have the money, and I wanted a new camera, so I bought this one. Uh, it's not bad. It's good for it's better for picture probably. I'll save my money and actually get an actual better camera, and hopefully it does better than this one. <clears throat> Let's get that out of the way. So we'll go ahead and look into this and see how it is. Get this nice little knife. See if my face, if I didn't, well, it's not really my face. I, I mean, I don't think I have a bad looking face. It's just my teeth are not the greatest. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna, but, you know, that's just because I don't even see what I look like. No, if my teeth are better, I wouldn't mind doing know what I look like. It's just my teeth are so messed up. There's no point in me uh, showing my face. But uh, there's no point in me showing my face. It's like uh, if you ever watched any of the Hodge twin, old Hodge twins videos. And people were like, uh, they said people were talking crap about their teeth. Like, oh my god, look at your teeth. I mean, that would be hot if you went for those teeth. Trust me, I wish I had their teeth compared to my teeth. I didn't brush my teeth as a kid, and they're all kind of rotten. And I know that's like, well, that's kind of more than what I wanted to know. But just putting it out there, you know, I don't really care. But like I said, though, if I, my teeth weren't like the way they are, or maybe one of these days I'll get a mask for the bottom part of my mouth. I don't want people to see my, you know, my uh, teeth. Then I might start start showing my face in my videos. But uh, let's go ahead and pop this open. I'm gonna make sure do this off the side. All right, I'm gonna make sure y'all get my code, which I don't think it really matters because if I use it before y'all see this video. But this is the game. You get a nice little poster. Set that off the side. Uh, go ahead and open this. Roll this because I'm not trying to move my camera. Well, it's, I, yeah, no, I'm not going to move my camera. Uh, my desk is kind of nasty. I don't want people seeing everything. But it's just basically a chart of all of the stuff you can you know, get in the game. Just all in, you know, all in color where you can see it all. And in the back is just plain white. Now, if this was in better. Well, no, I might. I mean, I would say if it was in better shape, I would. You know, put it up, but even in the shape it is, I could probably put this on my wall. I mean, it kind of makes it look like it was, a, uh, you know, in a vault Tech magazine that a vault Tech user, a vault Tech resident was in, and, you know, they just took this out and put it on the wall. Alright, yeah. As I figured, on the other side you have a code... And it basically just tells you how to do it all. So we'll go ahead and read this to y'all. Use this code to download Fallout 4 add-ons. That is in uh, Spanish. I guess that's what that is. I won't say, I won't say Spanish to be in something else, but I'm pretty sure it's Spanish. We live in America. They use Spanish in other channels. Oh, no. For other languages. But anyway. And it's just basically, I'm not trying to read all these. Because I'm going to butcher. But all the DLC... Game of the Year edition. So yeah, if y'all want to see me play this video, and I don't, I won't do it on this channel. Like I said, I have a gaming channel for that. If you want to watch me play this video, let me play this game on my um, gaming channel. Just let me know, and I will do that. And that is basically it for what comes in the case. I just leave all this stuff down. Now, on the day that I did this video, I also have another game, which I have been mentioning in it, and it is Gundam Versus. I was on, uh, when I did the trial, played the trial, I was going to, um, you know, upload a video of me going through mobile suits, but I figured I'll go with this one. And since I pre-ordered it, uh, you get some mobile suits with it, I know you get the, uh, Virtue, and two other ones. Did you get the Virtue and two other ones? And, um... I'm fine without those DLC characters, but, I mean, it's great that they add them to it. But, uh, I'm just going through this. You can see it's the front. Uh, 
Same thing that was on the trial version. It does have a trial version on it. Uh, shows you all this stuff, which if you looked at the back, you've already seen it. Shows you all stuff. Now with this game, I wish they would have did something better. Uh, like for, for instance, if you want to use the Zaku 2, you get only other only option you really have from what I've played of the uh, versus is shards and then a green one. If you use the green one, it has no weapons. It's like some civilian got a hold of it and he started using it, and it's it's pointless to use it. And here to go some promotion of the Gundam Wing. And then on the back, it's just promoting all the other DVDs, um, shows that would, um, are coming back out again. Pretty much all of them that I have watched is the original Gundam, uh, Zeta, any, all of them that are in English, basically. Uh, Shars Counter Attack. That's about it. Um, I would watch these other ones too if they're English. English. Uh, I mean, there's nothing wrong with Japanese. I mean, I, I watch Dragon Ball Z and some Japanese and all that kind of stuff, but I don't know. Now, Gundam Wing. Uh, if you go to uh, YouTube, it's a um, what's that Gundam thing? Gundam dot info. Go to that thing. They have the um, the new edit or whatever you want to call it. I forgot what it's called. Basically, this thing right here. Basically, anyway, they just redid this, and you know, better sound and all that kind of stuff. Uh, when people talk, that they, they actually has echoes and stuff like that. Um, I watched the original Gundam Wing. It's what got me into Gundam. Uh, when I first started watching the um, uni uh, UC Universe stuff, I watched that, and I was like. And I saw Shara, and I'm going to rip off of uh, Zex Mark Keys. And come to find out, Zex Mark Keys is just a rip off of uh, Shara Asnable. Which still don't like, I don't, I mean, I don't really dislike Shara. I don't really like him either. And the reason why I don't like him, I don't like his mobile suit. And the reason why I don't like his mobile suit, because they say it's red and it's not, it's pink. You might call him the pink comment and not the red comment, because his mobile suit is pink and not red. And if you want to say, well, it's, it's salmon, salmon's a pink color. But yeah, uh, I'm planning on playing this on my channel. On this channel, I'll do like go through the mobile suits and stuff like that. And they have a lot of mobile suits on this game that I feel that should be model kits, like the Thunderbolt uh, mobile suits, like the um, the Rick Dom and the Gale Goog. Those need to be turned into kits. I don't want no high grade. I want a master. I would like it to be a master grade. Higher grades are fine, but master grade would be better. Anyway, that's it. I've already went through everything. Um, hopefully this doesn't sound so terrible. This is not like a Gundam review to where it's going to, um, you know, be cutting the parts. Because the way I do my Gundam videos is I do the pan around the box, then I watch it, and if I like it, then that gets saved. And then I do the, oh no, I do the uh, pan around and then the unboxing all together, taking them out and taking the bags out of the box. That's all together. And then when it comes to taking them out of the bags and you're going through the runners themselves, then that's a take. And then when it comes to, uh... But basically, I don't... I just messed myself up. But basically what it is, I don't put all my videos into one video. I mean, it's all into one video, but while I'm recording it, it's not all, all together. It's looking at the box, seeing if I like that, and if that sounds good, okay. Then it's taking, looking at the bag, if I like the way that sounds, then okay, that's going in there too. And then if I like the way I did the runners, then the video's all, you know, put together. It's so that way I don't, say for instance, like if you're in the middle of, and then you open, let's say you go through the box, and you rip the bags, and then you go back and watch it after you've done everything, you're like, I don't like that. Then you can't redo it. If you do it, then you have to pretty much do it, redo it as, uh, you took the bags out of the, you know, put the, you took the parts out of the bag type situation. But anyway, I'm just rambling and I can't talk. I'm, uh, and I'm not going to redo this because I've already opened the whole box. So if it sounds like trash, it's just going to sound like trash. Sorry about that. Uh, I know I said, you know, what I had to say about the ending and all that kind of stuff, but I, after filling the thing a little bit more, I noticed something. Uh, I didn't show how you put your phone in. So um, I'm going to do that right now at the end of this video. You pretty much just pop all this open like you can put it on your wrist. 
then you push this then you push this down and then you pretty much pull this out now you gotta be careful now it feels like you might actually break it if you don't uh, keep careful with it and you pretty much just take all this out and what so on and so forth um, now so we take this out and see this is a little insert and this is my phone it's the uh, Galaxy 7 if I can't wait to see it now when I tried to do it earlier it wouldn't work and you see this thing right here is just about the size but since it is not really going into this part right here let's see then when you try to put it in there it's too big so anything at this size is, um, you know, not going to fit in there. But also with that being said, to me, this is more of a display piece than anything. So I would just have it up for display. That's why I'm glad it came with this. I don't think the original game came with this little cutout. I mean, not the original game, but the original Clayton's Edition with the original game that, you know, came out. I don't think it had these little inserts but they do so if you don't want to have your phone in there you can use this which I wouldn't recommend using your phone I got you know and it's your phone I mean if you could afford a brand new phone like uh, you know uh, I'm gonna put his name out there Casey Neistat he uh, like every time a new phone comes out he gets it brand new and he keeps his old phones you know people like us no we have to let the company keep the phone uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of similar. I'm throwing shade at the guy, but I'm not. I mean, he, he, you, if I had money, I'd be doing the exact same thing. So, uh, but yeah, it's, like I said, you get this insert with it, so you can just leave that in there. You ain't got to print nothing out or nothing. If you don't like this, you want something different, by all means. But, I mean, this is, you know, for me, it's iconic with the game, so I'm going to leave, you know, this one in there. And keep it up as a display. But anyway, since I said his name, I guess I'll uh, link him down at the bottom. I mean, it's the only right thing to do after, you know, saying his name, so, uh, which I can't, I ain't got to tell you to go to his channel and watch his videos, because, I mean, he's, what, almost about to have 10 million views, so he's about to get the di gold diamond, and uh, the diamond play button, so, you know, he don't need no adver advertisement, but, yeah, that's about it, um, hopefully, like I said before, hopefully I'll start doing more videos on this channel, but doing between the mixture of the both. Because to be quite honest with you, my game uh, play channel really doesn't get the views. Well, actually, I'm not going to say it really don't get the views. It don't get the views. Um, if it wasn't me watching my own videos from my other channel, I mean from this channel, then I wouldn't be giving it no views. But, uh, you know, if you would, go check out that game if you like watching people play. If you like watching game play. I don't show my face in any of the videos. Uh, like I said in this video, that's why I don't eventually maybe but also if it, I, to me it takes away from the game to me you know for y'all maybe my honest reaction is like that stay keep those in the game but my face is uh, unless I'm playing something scary then that would be something different but anyway as I said before leave a like if you like the video uh, subscribe for more and I'll talk to y'all later bye and one more thing I forgot again uh, you see this is kind of unsightly, but it's fine. You're just going to have a set like that, so it's not a big deal.